2017, uh, just under 62,000 miles on the odometer. Um, it has little scratches all over. It has the, the black in between the doors and the windows are faded. Uh, down here along the bottom, it wasn't washed multiple times. Down here along the bottom, I guess on, just on the passenger side, and it, it has something that looks like you could wipe it off, but you can't. Um, it's just uh, you know road, road grime that just wasn't taken care of for a long period of time. Um, there's you know small chip, chip scratch. There's some scratches here. Um, the wheels, the wheels have uh, been refurbished, and they're in incredibly beautiful shape. So the wheels are perfect all the way around. Tires are good all the way around. Um, folks, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located down the street from the Strip here in Las Vegas. Come, come see us. We have all kinds of cool cars in here. And uh, uh, you come here on vacation, you know, maybe you take something home. We run a great big car show Saturday, every Saturday morning. Go to celebritycars.com to find out. Yeah, if you're looking for me to like talk about ownership history and all that kind of stuff, you're not gonna get that from me. You gotta go to Celebrity Cars to find out all that stuff. Okay. Uh, this is a Range Rover Sport HSE TD6. That's what it says. Diesel oriented. Okay, um, folks, I, 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 it, it would take a preposterously long time to uh, Quincy. Let's just let's just go for a quick walk around the car. Okay, folks. Again, this is a really nice car. It just has blemishes. It's been around for a while. It's been around for uh, eight and a half years or so. Okay. Faded. I don't know what's going on here, but it goes down both sides. I don't know. It's kind of a who cares, but I don't know. A little fancy design. I don't know what it is. Okay, faded. Faded. Window tint's just fine. No tint, heavy tint up here. Uh, I'm going to back up down here. Sorry, Quincy. You might want well to just back up a little because um, you don't need to hone in on everything. You just don't. This is a used vehicle. It's not a ton of money. And uh, it's, it's not this, you know, we're not going to run any car shows or anything. Got a scratch right here. Um, there's PPF to go around some of these doors to protect things, but it was on there a long time ago, really hasn't protected anything. Uh, small scratch, small scratch, small chip. You look down here, you can see this. Come over here, Quincy. See that, folks? I need to find something to make that go away. Uh, it's just a bunch of, you know, no, wasn't clean for a long time. Car washes, gonna need some extra, extra sauce to get that stuff off. Uh, rear wheel, passenger side, in beautiful shape. Um, you come on over here, you know, this is taking a couple little hits, a couple little scratches, um, still works, glass isn't broken. Um, all along here, all this was good. This black looks just fine. Your front pet or driver's side or passenger side wheels in good shape. Small mark right there, teeny tinies. Uh, okay, so clear bra, folks, from here forward. All across here, it's faded, okay, because it's been around a while, so. You know, if you're picky and you're uh, and you want this to look extra special, you, you know, you get this peeled off. You have one reinstalled because it's faded and it's got marks in it, you know, all along here. The, the Rover emblems are a little upset. They've been around for a while as well. The hood is nice and straight, folks. There's no dings in it. This car deserves an extravagant detail. These little weird marks and stuff like that. I know all this stuff can come out. It just needs a uh, professional detail is all down here. Uh, the headlights are both in absolutely beautiful shape. Um, uh, you could see some marks along here. This does not have, oh, yes it does. This black piece has PPF on it. There's some marks to help protect. There's some PPF on here to protect from these marks. Hopefully they didn't go all the way through. Down here, this is not PPF and this is not PPF, but they're both in pretty much good shape. They're not loose. Nothing's getting ready to fall off. License plate holders in the front is good. There's no heavy scrapes down here on either side. Just little, just little marks, you know, from driving it down the road for, you know, 60 and change thousand miles. Okay, this side, small mark right there. Little sucker right here, but that's in the PPF. Uh, all this looks pretty decent. Folks, the windshield's got some marks in it, but no, it, nothing needs to be replaced. There aren't any big chunks. You're not gonna have to revisit anything. That's just normal. Normal wear. Small mark on the fender right here. Uh, wheels good. All this looks great. There's a small scratch in the car right here. I think a good detail will be able to get that out. That's just really in the clear. But there's a mark here and a mark here and a couple little ones. There's one down here. There's a small one from opening the door. Um, yeah, folks, it's used. Over here, 
We've got a nice little squiggly. I don't know what happened there. Uh, that's probably not going to disappear from a detail, but some of these others may. All right. Uh, well, is this good? Rear wheel looks good. Again, folks, faded black, faded black, faded black. And it has that same thing across the top, which I can't explain. All right, let's wrap up in the back here. The back window glass all looks good. This is nice and shiny black up here. Uh, this needs a little extra shiny black kind of stuff down here, but it's all in good shape. I don't see any signs of anybody backing in anything back here. Let's see if I can get this to open. All this really does look terrific. I see no signs of any paintwork or anything like that. Uh, carpet looks good. Ugh. All right, I haven't opened this yet, but we seem to be in good shape. There's a spare tire back here, which is good. This rubber, you can tell folks, obviously stuff spinning out of the back back here, but is any of it super terrible or anything like that? No, this is still got going on what it needs to have going on. A couple little marks here and there, but they're kind of who cares marks. And obviously some scrapes and stuff are getting stuff in and out. All right. I'm gonna open this. A couple little marks getting in and out of the car. A couple little marks on this plastic right here, but the seat looks good. The back of the seat looks good. I'm gonna go open the other side while we talk and observe. Yep, seats are all good. Plenty of protection back here for the rugs. Yeah, the rugs look brand new underneath, so these, these protectors have been here since day one. Center console for uh, AC, all looks good. The moon roof looks good, just needs to be a little, little clean. The headliner looks good, still nice and white. Hasn't changed any colors yet. Door panels look good. Driver's seat, driver's seat folks, I mean, it looks used, looks climbed in and out of, but it's not anything surprising. There is a mark right here. Is it ripped through the leather? No. Uh, is it a mark in the leather? Yes. Uh, that's just from getting in and out of the car. That's just a lot of leather laid and pinched every time somebody got in and out of the car. Mild marks over here, but nothing to write home about. Center console cover's good. All this is good. All this is good. We'll get a look at this a little bit better outside. I can't wait to drive this again. I, I know it's weird. I, I, folks, I get to drive everything. All of you, quite frankly, should pay attention when I say cars are really good and really comfortable because... I know what I'm talking about. It's only because I've been in half all these stupid cars. <laughs> okay, uh, this uh, armrest over here has a little bit of wear to it. Qu uh, Quincy, you wanna come over here? Please. Couple little speckles, couple little chips. You know, somebody had their uh, bracelet against this, made a couple necks and notches in the, in the white leather over here. I did not, how's, how's the passenger side look? I'll just look at that real quick, just for the heck of it. Passenger side, uh, really light wear. Nothing like the driver's side. This is all in good shape. Folks, things in good shape. Let's look at the engine. You got it? I'll get it. It's all good, thanks. La, la, la. It might be on the other side. Let's see, are the folks at home yelling? It's on the other side. It's on the other side. It's not on the other side. Hmm. All right. All right, folks, this is where things get entertaining from time to time because Scott has to figure out. Oh, is this right here? Staring at me in the face. Oh, I guess I'm dumb. Sometimes they're just too easy to find. All right, what's the power plant look like after uh, 60,000 and change miles? Uh, folks, I'll tell you what, this looks pretty darn good. Looks like somebody's been taking care of this, not playing any mud or any puddles because there's no way in heck that this would look like this. So well done. Nice and clean all the way down there. Well, not nice and clean, but clean enough. Underneath here all looks good. This all looks original. How about that? Okay, so yeah, folks, it's not perfect, okay? Uh, 1917, 1917? Hmm. 
2017. And, uh, you know, that we talked about the miles. Folks, this is really, really a nice shape. I'm going to get uh, really down to it. I'm going to, you know, I didn't really pay attention the first time. I was so overwhelmed by how nice it drove. But this time I really pay attention to the brakes and going over speed bumps and trying to make it make noise. And just, you know, you know that you're getting a good car. We'll be right back. Okay, folks, as promised, we're out here in the, uh, the 2017 Land Rover, uh, Range Rover. And, uh, yeah, the air conditioning, folks, it is so obnoxiously hot. Sorry for the loud air conditioning. That's the way it goes. The motor is, uh, you know, a quiet purr in here. Um, I'm looking around. Yeah, I can see the, the, the marks on the door panel that we talked about. Center console all looks pretty darn good. My bottle of water, sorry. Tan up here looks good. <clears throat> Media center here looks good. Okay, I don't have my seatbelt on. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. I'll turn the air down just a little bit. Um, shut it up just a little. That's all right. Okay, my foot's on the brake. I'm gonna engage drive, and off we go. I like this thing. Diesel. Listen. Wow. 48, 49 miles an hour. I'm going to test these brakes. Ready? Three, two, and one. Yeah, I've Folks, I, I, yeah, I drove this the other day. I didn't hit the brakes like that because I was just driving it, so why would I do that? <laughs> In the meantime, folks, this is, I feel like I'm, I really feel like I'm driving a new car. Uh, I want that. Something is loose back there, I went boom. Speed bump number one, speed bump number two. I just went through the gearbox too on my way back there. Everything shifts too, super smooth, puts on the brake. No weird rattles or clunks from the speed bumps. <clears throat> Quite frankly, the little diesel sound is kind of charming. You don't have the radio on, you hear it kind of gurgle underneath you. I think it's pretty cool. All right, we are at a standstill. I'm gonna hit the gas pedal just a little bit and uh, you know, make sure we're good. Oh. Board straight, up to 67 miles an hour. My foot's on the brake, slowing down just a little. I'm gonna put my right turn signal on. I'm gonna make a pretty good right here. Pretty hard right, just testing the car out. Super nice. Yeah, I like this car. You turn hard left. This thing doesn't make any noises. No weird motor noises. Transmission ships terrific. Hey, folks, we, we welcome pre-purchase inspections. You give us a call, you're super interested in this. It's on your dime. You want us to send it somewhere so they can get a look at it, see if it needs anything. Just give us a call, 702-818-1031. <clears throat> We're happy to work with you. You've got Andrew and Ryan in there. They're happy to talk to you about this. I don't, you know, there's, you know, there might be a window sticker laying around to share with you all the options on this, but it seems to be fully loaded with all the things. But uh, give the guys a phone call, find out the, the, the deal. I love this, actually. I don't know why I like this so much. It's weird. I, 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 I latch on to certain cars for weird reasons. I don't know. This is just very, very comfy. I feel really safe and secure and sturdy and all the things in this. 702-818-1031. I said, I'm not gonna say that about the next car I'm driving. I'm, I, I lay it out all out on the line here, folks. 702-818-1031, <laughs> give us a buzz. Um, this, uh, this Range Rover is awesome, folks. See you next time.